harassing people online is not cool. If somebody make it clear to you, say them no one talk to you, them no one nothing for do with you, leave them alone. Okay, so for the past few months, I have been harassed by someone online. And the thing that makes this creepy for me is the fact that this is a woman who is quite literally old enough to be my mother. She has displayed interest in trying to use gift giving and sending money as a way to buy my trust, which is something that I have explicitly stated that that's not going to happen, right? You see, as a man, I have expressed my concern to some people before and because I'm a man, I have been accused of entertaining the situation because usually men are not in this situation or men are not the ones who speak about being harassed. And I'm trying to say that Harassment is not something that is determined by sex or gender. Men can experience harassment as well. Recently, this person decided to escalate it and has become sexual harassment, sending me unsolicited videos and images of herself. This is something that is not mutual, nor will it ever be something that will ever be mutual. Being a content creator, I understand that people have developed parasocial interactions with me. Those are those type of relationships where it's a one-way relationship. Where people think that they are friends with me because of my videos online. And the reality is I can't know everyone who follows me. I don't know and I don't intend to know everyone who supports me. I wish this woman never found me on social media. I wish this woman could just forget about me. I don't want any support from this woman, nor anybody, any creep who feels as if they have to harass attention out of me. So now, some of you are probably wondering, why don't I just block her, right? I've blocked six Instagram accounts for this one lady, a Facebook, Cash App, email, TikTok accounts, and God knows how many other accounts are out there still watching me. Now you see, as a Jamaican man, I've been told to ignore the situation. And some people have even questioned my morality when I've expressed concern over the situation. Because Jamaican men usually do this type of stuff, right? I'm here to say that men have to deal with this shit as well. This is not mutual. I'm not going to reveal who the lady is because I don't give free clout.